and we're singing. We're singing. Dun, dun, we're singing. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> So listen, the other day, I really shouldn't be saying this, but like Mary called me and like she's just been having such a hard time since okay. she lost Frances. Okay. She's feeling really lonely. And they've been together like 15 years. For right? a long time. Something I mean, like you know, they've been they've known each other since they were like children. Literal infants. And then she uh, her family was just like pressuring her to move on. Okay. And so then she was like going on a date with this guy named John. And I was like, okay, tell me about John. And she was like, well, he's like my cousin, but not like my, you know, he's like my first cousin. And okay. I was like, oh. right. I don't you know, know what it's... I mean. And then like, well, okay. okay. And then she but... was like, she didn't even like him. Okay. Well, I, now Morgan, I, now I don't want to like stifle you or your expression, but I have to tell you that I am a Christian woman, mm. and um, so you I think, think it's what fine you're doing right now is gossip that she was dating her cousin. Well, I don't think that's fine. No, I think that's problematic. Also, he was a Protestant. Oh, yeah. What? Yes. I fucking hate that bitch. Fuck him. And you know what? We're t- talking today about uh, <laughs> Mary Queen. I couldn't think of anything else to say. Oh, I wanted to bring in Elizabeth. We're talking today about Mary <gasps> Queen of Scots. Yes, we who are. Morgan knows personally. Uh, we are personal friends on a personal level, and I actually truly feel that way. Do okay. Not really, but it's yes. funny because she was texting me last week, and she had different things to say. She's about such you, a Morgan. bitch. She's a fucking bitch. Love her. Love that bitch. But yeah, you definitely can't have a conversation about Mary Queen of Scots and it be like exclusive from a conversation about Queen Elizabeth the yes. First of England. Yes. Because they are eternally tied together. Mm-hmm. Um. Because like, they're scissor sisters. Because they're scissor sisters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> their fates are so wound up. Like uh-huh. it's like, like their legs. Like their legs because they're scissoring. <laughs> it's absurd. Like they're everyone knows at least some version of a story of Queen Elizabeth, right? Uh-huh. Everyone knows the Virgin Queen. That she's the Virgin Queen. Wait, Blanchett. Quite. <laughs> Quite. Kate Blanchett was a great she's Queen great. Elizabeth. I loved her. Um, everyone knows at least some version of her story, mm-hmm. whether or not it's true. Mm-hmm. Mary Queen of Scots is a little bit more ambiguous because she didn't succeed per se, mm-hmm. but this bitch lived a life. A really like, um, I mean, sometimes I think our lives are dramatic, but damn. She had so much drama and it was very tumultuous. Yeah. Like, like she, let's just start at her birth. When she was born... Well, actually, Morgie, you know where we should start? She died instantly. Next question. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Beauty and the Bitch. I so thought we did that. <laughs> no, because I, I interrupted four times. I fucked sure, you up. Sure, sure. Uh, I am the beauty. And that's not true, but I am Morgan. Oh. And a big and I'm fan. Mick. I'm Mick. I'm Mick. Of Mary Quinn of Scott. You are a big yeah. fan. Is it because you see yourself in her sort of depressing outcome? First of all, she was beautiful, and she, she did live a depressing life. Well, I saw a picture of her, and now maybe she was beautiful by those standards. But her forehead, sure enough, comes a far long ways out her head. I will say, you know, like, Elizabeth wore, like, a wig. And, like, I don't know what the standards were. Like, if they – all those women had scraggly hair, and they then they did. just wore wigs. And I don't know if they, like – intentionally had scraggly hair like did they shave their hair well, so they could wear the wigs? i know elizabeth did i yeah. don't know about mary but well at least i think i've heard that that elizabeth like shaved back her forehead or had it plucked back yeah but oh, she was trying oh, that's, that's the thing about elizabeth though we're gonna get back to her birth i'm sorry i know i cut yes. you off and i'm so popular oh my for god the first time he has so many friends Normally it's singular <laughs> um i have so many friends <laughs> um but yeah i know elizabeth being the virgin queen she was very like she wanted to be to look different and alien and unappealing. So she like, but that was never Mary Queen of Scots' thing. Because she was sexually active. And Girl, she, she got around. Scots. Yes. Okay. And I mean, I know what you mean. Like, by historical standards, she was beautiful at least. Like, people wrote about her that she was like a great beauty. But also at the same time, she was a queen. And people said that about a lot of queens. But yeah. in my heart, she was a beautiful woman. You know I think I mean? so too. I, mean, I think her story is beautiful. I think so too. I think it's. I think it's like the epitome of like what it meant to be a royal, mm-hmm. in like this despondent time of like royalty. Like it's so glamorous. You're the king. You're the queen. But like you live in constant fear. You can trust no one. You have like no allies. 
people only want you for your crown. Mm -hmm. And she's like the epitome of that. Like everything horrible with royalty was her whole life. Mm -hmm. So when she was born, she had to be put into a secret like – um, like a convent, like a hiding place in because France. Because she was so ugly? Because she was so ter- Yeah, she was ugly. Uh, oh, because people so wanted her father dead, the, the king of Scotland, oh. and they were going to kill her because they didn't want him to have an heir. Oh. Um, it was like, it was really dramatic. So anyways, um, she was hidden from the moment of her birth in france so she never she like never set foot in scotland she never grew up in scotland and then when her father died when she was really young like at some less than 10 or something yeah she became like six or like days maybe well she has a brother but maybe he's just a half brother maybe her mother conceived him later so i'm not sure on the timing for that Mm -hmm. because she was the heir so he had to be younger than her yeah or from a different father. Anyways, she he died and she quickly became the Queen of Scotland, a place where she had never gone to and was never uh, allowed to go because people wanted to kill her. So her mother ruled in her stead as like the Queen Regent while she came of age or whatever. And so she grew up her whole life in France. Her whole life. That like she didn't even have us. a Scottish accent. I also grew up in France. Well, that's what's wrong with you. Oh, I see. Because being sophisticated and beautiful is considered wrong in your eyes. It is, though. I learned something new about you every day, Morgan. Thank you. Okay, so Mary's living in France. Okay, she's mm-hmm. being fabulous. I assume she's eating croissant. <laughs> she's eating all the croissant. <laughs> but she's, like, skinny and they, like, hit her in all the right places. Okay. Um, okay. She is very attached to the French royal family. Okay. Um, and she quickly becomes betrothed to Francis, who is the Dauphin of France, which is Ooh. what they call their next in line. And so she becomes engaged to him and she lives her whole life, like, in their court. Like, she lives in French court. And he was according to the the literature of the time right he was supposed to be sickly but they talk about that in rain and he's like look i was just sitting down but i'm not actually sickly right isn't he supposed to be like fine in that tv show rain everyone's fine in that oh tv my God. Show. that's on the cw that show yes, yes. the first no like surprises. the first like two or three seasons were like really good and then it was like not so great mm. um but the french court was really interesting at that time uh francis was sickly and he did die young from like mysterious causes i think he had like an ear infection or something he was that's like so sick that like the accounts of like what caused his death like probably they <laughs> gave like, him too many leeches you right? know what i mean <laughs> drink all those blood daily leechings could have been the cause yeah right? but um <laughs> but i think he still got around and like he still like performed duties and was like a fine mm. king of france he was like mm. a fine king of france mm. when he became king um his mother was an italian like royal person and like married into the french throne like in an alliance is that de guise is that yes she was married yes. de guise okay. i believe was her name and um she was a fan of nostradamus oh. and so she brought all of this like witchy sort of stuff into okay, the french fantasy. court that's like really interesting and so that's like a really interesting time of like french history i think because right. that's when we get like she was like very invested in that situation So that stuff's happening. Mary's growing up there. She gets married to Francis, becomes the queen of France, but then Francis dies. What? Yeah. Of an ear infection slash bladder problem (laughs) slash the leeches. Slash she got scared and blinked too hard. (laughs) Oh, no. I told him not to blink. (laughs) Yeah. Damn, Francis. That was like a hard time in her life, I think. Yeah, she was only like 15, right? She was really young and like also was a hard time for France because like. France and Scotland being unified was like kind of a big deal Mm -hmm. because France was a really powerful country. So they were going to be able to get Scotland back in line because there's just a lot of turmoil over there. You know why France was so powerful at that time? Because they let their men wear high heels and high heels change the whole way you see the world. But the French throne was also tumultuous because they, they had that. um, So there was like Navarre was like its own kingdom Mm. at that time and now i think it's france Mm. but so there was like all these people who were like the royal family of navarre were also the royal family of france and they were so intertwined so they had the same shit going on that like scotland and england had where they were like no it's our family heritage we're the like throne people and so when francis was like sick and like dying like it was a really hard time for france too to be like oh we have so much to deal with and so they had a lot of 
battles and stuff going on. Mm. So, like, this time in history There's was, a like, a big deal. Also, simultaneously, King Henry VIII is, like, living his best life over there. Like, oh, fucking God. whoever, killing Just whoever. killing wives left, right, up, and down. Right. And then he, like unceremoniously dies because he like gout. got a wound yeah, yeah and then he got gout from it and then it got so infected that he fucking died because he was a nasty pig he was filthy he was a well, nasty pig person and there's no one who will ever tell you to your face sir you stink I mean why would you ever bathe and he it was, doesn't matter he was like morbidly obese Ugh. too like y'all when they cast John Rhys Myers to play him in the Tudor series uh, maybe I'm, young Henry yeah maybe mm, young Henry I was like I'll buy into this fantasy but Ooh. it is just not he accurate so I love John Rhys Myers yeah, what's he, he doing now boy. Uh, I saw him in something kind of recently. He's doing, you know, he's got one of those faces. So he's either oh. evil or in a period piece. You know, actually, I just remembered. He's actually in a trunk under my bed right now. <laughs> and that's me living my best life, no Mary shocking. Queen of Scots. We can all do it. Okay. So this time okay. in Europe, very tumultuous. And so France has to, like, send Mary along her way. They're like, mm. we're so sorry. We have kept you safe, but, like, we can't do it anymore. Mm. And so she has to go back to Scotland where she is not welcome. Um, but at least she's Catholic. Because part of the tumultuous stuff in Europe is, like, Catholicism versus Anglican. Mm. So there's, like, a lot of stuff with that, which... Uh, as we all know, King Henry VIII took the Catholic nation of England and was like, Jay Kissel, mm. we're going to be the Church of England now. That worked out well. Yeah, turned yeah, out fine. Yeah, out fine. Only like six ladies had to die for yeah. it. <laughs> well, and there was like a thousands of other people. Yeah, and yeah. tons of people. Well, can I just tell you, uh, I'm sorry, but I was on um, Reddit recently and there was some subreddit, I forget what it was about, but some goddamn commentator said, Name one time that Christians have done an evil thing. Uh, <laughs> and I almost had, an, like, a fit uh, on my computer. Did somebody say the Inquisition? Yeah. I was like, well, um, and I was so snarky in my reply, which didn't get very many updutes, but it's because. You're was, like, reply all everything ever. <laughs> yeah, all of Reddit. But I was like, yeah, okay, the Inquisition, that's obvious, mm. first and foremost. And then how about every religious war ever, including the Crusades? Uh-huh. Hello, goodbye. Joan of Arc. Yeah, um, we could talk. Yes, Joan of Arc. I didn't even mention her. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah, Joan of Arc. Who was a Christian? You're mm-hmm. killing your own. Salem witch trials. Girl. Left, right, up, and down. Mm-hmm. And some people blame that on mushrooms, but I think that's not the fall of hallucinogenic mushrooms. Mm-hmm. Or something mold. Have you heard that theory? Interesting. Anyway, my point is... Par for the course. Okay, so we're going to kill a thousand people in Scotland today. What else is new? Yeah, Organized I mean, religion. Not to mention any, like, modern day shooting by, like, a Christian extremist. Hey, exactly. <laughs> and not to mention, like, gay conversion camps. And not to mention, oh, like, Lord. our personal hurts and pains. And not to mention, like, a thousand other things. Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. What a ridiculous thing for a Christian to say. They I mean, were really. they were trolling that thread. They were. That and was then trolling. someone responded and they were like, the Crusades were a defensive war. And then you know who said that? Fucking, oh, that goddamn concern. That guy that, okay, wait, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm not very smart. What's the name of that gay sex therapist from the Pacific Northwest? Oh, my God, I have no idea. Jo- Dan, Dan Brown, Dan Rather, Dan Johnson. People know who I'm talking about. <laughs> um, okay, so he made up a term. He, he used a conservative politician's last name. And turned it into a disgusting gay sex term. Do you remember what I'm talking about? Mm-mm, oh, Morgan, you failed like me. This. You failed me completely, and I failed myself. I really like the idea of this. Should I pause this so we can Google it? No, I'm gonna. I'm no. I'm I'm gonna Google it right now. But um, my whole point was, Christians have done a lot of bad things, and this time in history, oh, they not coming doing... for Christians because everybody does bad things. But this time in history is very much like well, wow, and, religion did so much evil, and they did a lot of evil in the name of religion, even if it's like not necessarily the reason they did it. They used it as the crutch or the excuse for what they were doing, um, especially in England at this time when because King, King Henry. He did a thing and whatever. It's just the way it is. And it changed a lot of stuff for some stuff, probably for the good. Um, But in this particular instance, it really did a lot of bad stuff Mm -hmm. for Mary, Queen of Scots, because she was this Catholic queen. And because he had six wives, which was also a very new thing for a royal to do. Mm -hmm. 
Because in Catholicism, you're allowed to divorce. No. Yeah, that's the whole reason he switched. Because yeah. he didn't want to kill his first wife, Catherine. Which, oh my God, so sweet. He was like, I want to divorce you officially. So I'm going to switch the official religion of our country. Kill all of my Christian advisors. And just, like, make it happen. He did that. <laughs> then he married Anne Boleyn. And then she did not bear a son for him. But she gave him Queen Elizabeth. Mm. Uh, Elizabeth. And then he fucking killed her. Even though he had a daughter with Catherine, BT Dubs. Uh, Mary, she became queen. Oh, bloody! That's bloody Mary. I believe that's bloody yeah, Mary. That's bloody Mary. She was briefly queen before um dying hysterically and passing her throne to the bastard child. Well, uh, with a hysterical pregnancy, no yes, less, right? That's yes, that's bloody Mary. Yes, yeah, she I was confused. I thought bloody Mary was Mary Queen of Scots. I think a lot of people think. I that. think it's because when I Google, is a very common misconception. Yeah. But bloody Mary, being Catholic, tried to change all of England back to Catholicism and, and they killed didn't a want bunch it. of Protestants. Yeah. Like a bunch of problems. Yeah, and she imprisoned Elizabeth and was going to kill Elizabeth um, to because it secured her line, but also because she was fucking crazy. She was like a crazy person. Oh, yeah. Plus, not attractive. Mm, totally. Mm. Yeah, but her her mother, uh, Queen Catherine, was like a uh, Spanish person, mm-hmm. and Spain is like staunchly Catholic, so like she grew up very Catholic, so her dad like basically disowning them and changing the religion of the country was like she had a very traumatic life like i feel really oh. bad for like their whole family like it was a whole deal but he never like fathered any sons that could live and be his heir mm. so also like the the whole line of succession when there are men involved is really interesting because almost always throughout history the line of succession would go to the next male heir but like for some reason, and I don't know what the change was, like some laws were created sort of in this era that like Mary was able, Mary mm. Queen of Scots was able to be queen. And then, um, and like her throne didn't pass to a distant relative. And same with uh, Ma- Bloody Mary and then Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. So like there were some changes made. Yeah, they were okay with queens and if there were no men available. Totally. <laughs> ever. Yeah. But then it, it made their lives really difficult because they were these like token queens. Mm-hmm. They were like these dainty women. I know women that feeling. That, like, oh, I know that feeling too <laughs> they like couldn't be taken seriously and yeah. like that must have been frustrating i have speaking from personal experience it is frustrating mm. people look at me and they say you dainty sweet creature how can you you know li- how can you walk on those dainty legs and i'm like i'm stronger than i look ma'am so much stronger yeah. okay so i looked up receipts so forgive me for being an idiot Tell and never remembering uh, remembering proper nouns but um the asshole's name is rick santorum he's the conservative oh i know politician. that person yes he's the one who said somewhere that the crusades were a defensive war which they were not mm. that's not at all true it was all about christians trying to recapture jerusalem and then dan savage is the pacific northwest sex okay. columnist who took the name Santorum <gasps> and made it a term Ooh. that means oh. do you remember this? No tell me more it's the mixture of lube and feces that sometimes is a side result of anal intercourse now that thing has a name and it's called a Santorum. Santorum it's called Santorum I yeah. love that that's anyway. hilarious yes that's all old tea but because I wasn't smart enough it's like really good though it. yeah exactly it's really Dan good Dan Savage um, okay, so I'm sorry, my queen. Uh, by the way, I don't think we've said the whole like pearl of the reason we're doing this episode is one because more he loves Queen of Scots, which mm-hmm. is obvious. Um, she just rattled all that off without any notes. By the way, I don't know, y'all can't see that, but I can. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Uh, see, and that's why you're the bitch. I have you're smart. Thank you. I have like <laughs> four ounces of useless knowledge and half of it's just about Mary Queen of Scots. Right. And mine's just all men I've seen naked. That takes <laughs> up like the majority of mine. Um, but um, the new Mary Queen of Scots movie is coming yeah, out. Yeah, by the same name. And Rain, the TV show on CW about Mary Queen of Scots, just finished. Right? Yeah, like this last year. year or this oh, year. Last year. Okay. It was recently. Okay. Um, I was a big fan of that too. Yes, even though it was kind of trash. But the girl who plays Mary Queen of Scots on that show, her name's Adelaide Kane. She uh-huh. is like insane gorgeous. Okay. Like insane. Like Mick Parker level? No, like even better. No. <laughs> that blows my mind just to consider. Yeah, everybody was so attractive in that show. Well, let me let me ask you because I didn't watch Rain at all. Um, but that's because I knew what you were watching and I watched some other stuff. Now, we talked about Mary's first and second husbands. 
Well, we, we didn't really mention Lord Darnley yet. Oh, we haven't gotten we, into we Lord just Darnley? Gossiped. But uh, oh, okay. when she does move back to Scotland, she marries her Anglican cousin, Lord Darnley, who is a British lord okay. because she wants to, like, uh, strengthen her claim to the throne of England. Uh, yeah. But he's a dick. And for years, people painted her as, like, oh, she just wa- she was, like, in love slash in lust with him, and that's why she married him. Mm-mm. And I'm like, oh. Look at this sexism in these historical tomes. You think she's such an idiot? She knew what she was doing. Girl. People paint her as being very bad at politics. I don't think she was bad at politics. I think she was in a horrible situation. Yeah. You know. Well, and like, honestly, from what like I've read, um, she wasn't like super thirsty for the English throne. Like she wasn't trying to just be like the queen of all the things. Sure. She was really thirsty to save her people. Mm-hmm. She wanted to be accepted by Scotland and she wanted to save them because they had famine. And it's a small country. They had, they had a lot of bad internal stuff between the Highland clans and the like lowland clans. Mm-hmm. And like they had a lot of strife and England had money and power and like mm-hmm. they had everything that like any like England was like one of the most powerful countries in Europe and Mary was like if I can rule over England I can save Scotland that's why she wanted to do it well you know in um during Mary's lifetime in 1555 is when they had the great haggis famine in Scotland there was no haggis to be had are you fucking with us I'm not fucking with anyone and at the same (laughs) time (laughs) they ran out of sheep's stomach they did they had plenty of wool oh and but they had no logs to throw (laughs) it was a really hard time but they had plenty of kilts they did have plenty of kilts but what good is a kilt with no haggis no log to throw Mm. you know did you know the maybe you did sort of off topic but in like the 1700s there was like the Battle of Culloden, uh, Scotland versus England, mm. like Scotland trying to regain their independence with the Bonnie Prince Charlie. And Mel Gibson was there, right? No. <laughs> oh, no, it was different. It was different. But they wanted to regain their independence, and uh, they lost. And then, as a punishment, England banned kilts. <gasps> What? Yeah, they banned kilts from Scotland, and you could be, like, killed for wearing kilts. No, and so they were I banned for, like, hundreds of years. What? Hundreds of years. No, yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yep. But what's there's but but if no one's wearing a kilt, how am I gonna look up their kilt? You couldn't even wear your clan colors because you know the clans have like their own colors, oh. their tartans or whatever. Uh-huh. You couldn't wear your tartans. Not even on a baseball cap turned backwards. Not even on a fluffy hat with a bow on them. What? Not even Damn, on a sash. Damn, England. Yeah, this is Y'all super rough. rough. And I don't like your food. Yeah, that was out of left field, but it's true. I don't. They like eat baked beans with breakfast. Man, I don't. Everything is so thick and I did while crusty I was there. there. I mean, I would eat it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I would go and just starve, but mm, not into so it. So weird. So mm. weird. Um. Anyway, back to Mary. So she married Lord Darnley. Lord Darnley, who there are a lot of queer rumors about that motherfucker. Well, maybe that's why he Lord was so Darnley. angry and hateful towards her. And an alcoholic near the end. He also supposedly was planning her assassination. Well, yeah. I mean, he, he just seems like a In the rumor dick. mill. Yeah. In some of the retellings, because of course there have been innumerable retellings of this story, especially Queen versus Queen, Elizabeth versus Mary. Totally. You know, in different formats. But sometimes he's seen as a spy for Elizabeth. Or like yeah, very that, there was the chatter of that. And then in this new movie, speaking of chatter, I, we haven't seen it either of us. More he tried, but... Only one theater in Austin, Texas sold out. In Austin, out. Texas. Now, if we were in Little Rock, Arkansas, I wouldn't be shocked. But in Austin, Texas? And it was the Mueller Alamo. Like, why uh, wouldn't it be the South Lamar one? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. So Who goes weird. To Mueller? No, uh, yeah. Like, families. Yeah. Family people. Yeah. I only have children if sadness and grief are counted as children. In um, which case, I've got a lot. You've got a family. lot of children, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a matriarch. Um, no, but uh, uh, yeah, that's that's weird to me though. A limited showing of this movie. Yeah, I don't know why. Because it's starring. I mean, the Sarah counselors. Sharonan. Uh huh. She plays Mary, uh-huh. and that um, Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie plays Queen Elizabeth. Uh huh. And that's the end of my knowledge. No, the there was someone are. else. I don't remember who else. But there was someone else who I liked who was in there. Yeah, I'm sure there's like oh, several. Oh, but you know what's interesting about the movie, too? This is actually what I was thinking. It's not the same thing. The director, her name is Josie Rourke. This is her very first movie ever. Oh, interesting. I wonder if that's why she has a limited run. A well, woman's first movie. a lot of times, maybe. A lot of times they'll do a limited release just to get it out there before Oscar season. But, uh-huh. like, 
But they, but it's so far in advance. Yeah. Like normally that's like a last week of the year situation. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't know. And it's also like, I know Aquaman's still killing it in theaters. It came out on the 7th of December. We're putting this out, you know, this will be a bit after it came out. But like it, the big, huge Christmas movies either have already come out or haven't come out yet. So right. like, why not just give it a full release? I feel like people would watch it, but maybe... Like me, like I wouldn't. want to give my money to Even you. Even I would watch this. Yeah. It looks, I love Queen Elizabeth. She's one of my favorite historical figures. Fa- fascinating. I've, exactly. Yeah. And I've grown to love just researching this. Mary Queen of Scots seems fabulous. She is a fierce bitch. Well, so she married Lord... Darnley. Yes, Lord Homosexual. Um, silver lining of their marriage, he gave her her only child, James. Okay. Oh, also a noted homosexual. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not shocking, I guess. James was very, very, very gay. They called him also, Flirty James. Flirty James. <laughs> they they called him they called him fashionable James. They called him interior decorating whiz James. Yeah, that should have been like a tip off for like everybody. Nah. Yeah. He's just a king. Well, of course, gay wasn't really a thing. And royalty tended to be bisexual. Because why not? If you can do anything you want, why not fuck everybody? I would. Everybody does. I All the royals do. did. Well, there you go. Yeah, so she married Lord Darnley, and she got silver lining baby James. Uh-huh. Um, Who was heir to both crowns. Well, he actually was. Yes, because, okay, because even though Elizabeth was like, not on, girl, you ain't laying claim to my throne. This is a Protestant nation. I'm a Protestant queen. These are my people. And Elizabeth, or, and Mary's people were like, yeah, but also you're a bastard child, which technically, she technically was because in their eyes, divorce wasn't legal. Yeah, so Anne Boleyn did not count. Yeah, yeah. So, like, in their eyes, like, Everyone's reasoning is sound from their own like logical perspective. That's you know what I mean? It's so it's so wild. Yeah. Um, but regardless of what happened between them, Elizabeth had no children. Mm. And the heir to the throne was then was James. Mm. James was the next heir to the throne, regardless. Mm. But Elizabeth was like, mm-mm. She was like, I'm gonna change that, I'm gonna fix that, but not by birthing her own children. She was gonna do like bequeath her throne to like somebody else did she try sitting on chicken eggs because had she hatched a royal chicken things could have been very different interesting i'm just putting it out there i wonder if she did try that (laughs) the world will never know okay so lord darnley not the greatest husband Mm -hmm. so as rumor has it which is the only kind of history i like Mary was like, he's got to go. Oh, no, wait, you skipped the best. Wait, you, wait, you tell me part. more. Oh, this is my favorite part. Okay, you tell me more. Okay, okay. So, old Mary Queen of Scots had this little friend by the name of David Rizzio. You mm-hmm. remember him, right, Morgan? Mm-hmm. Now, little known fact, old David Rizzio done joined Mary's entourage by joining the band... He literally was the bassist uh-huh. for her little troupe of troub- troubadours. Like you do. Uh-huh. And he worked his way up to become her, like, Biffer secretary, mm-hmm. right? And the funny thing about him, well, there's a lot of funny stuff about him. He was a Spanish courtier. He was fabulous. He's supposed to, I almost gave away something. Mm-hmm. Hey, Morgan, do you want to take a very quick break and play Two Truths and a Treacherous Queen Oh, with me? sure. Because one of these is about him. Okay, so great. I almost gave it away. Okay. Okay, so three things. One of them's a lie. Okay. They're all about Mary in some way or about her life. Okay. First thing. The Execution of Mary Stewart is a short film. Uh, Spoilers. Oh. (laughs) Produced in 1895 that is the first use of special effects ever. Could be a treacherous queen. Could be a true. Okay. Okay. Second. The real David Riccio had a hunchback and a deep bass voice okay okay third when the two queens that is elizabeth and mary finally met the queen of scots gave elizabeth a heart-shaped locket with her picture inside that sounds right Mm. they're always gifting shit to people Uh uh-huh they do love a gift um that first thing about special effects like sounds untrue but like Special effects is such a broad word. Does it just mean like a lightning sound with like a thing? Could be. Mm, I'm going to just say that one's the fake one. You think that's the fake one? Morgan, you're burnt. (laughs) You're burnt. I'm I'm going to lock you in prison for like 20 years. And then cut my head off. And then cut your head off. It seems like (laughs) you're really dragging it out at that point, honestly. No, so that actually is true. 
the execution of Mary Stewart, um, it's a, a stop trick. So it's for her beheading. It's only like an 18 second movie. Interesting. And it just shows her getting her head chopped off. And so they have her down the thing and then they cut away. Did they do the axe or the guillotine? I think it's an a- axe. I'm pretty sure. Because in real life I heard it took two tries. Yeah. They took two chops. Mm. The first one hit the back of her head. Mm-mm. I know it's rough, isn't it? Um, That's real, though. So very first special effect was to show the death of Mary, Queen of Scots. Pretty fascinating. In 1895. Okay. And you can find that on YouTube if you want to look it up. So brutal. Of course, not in that telling, because it's the worst special effects ever. Because they do the chop, and then her head goes, bloop, 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 bloop. You know, anyway. Um, The real David Riccio. God damn it, all these boys trying to hit me up. God. uh, Uh, okay. Um, the real David Riccio did have a hunchback. Mm -hmm. That's what I almost gave away. And he did have a very deep voice. The lie is that the two queens never met their entire life. They never, ever met. She just put her straight in the tower? Uh Uh-huh. And they could have met many, many times, but they never did. Now, Mary Queen of Scots did send a locket to Elizabeth at one point when they were writing letters because they went through a period where they were like cousin cousin oh yeah I love thee they did Mary. that fake friend thing oh my god for yeah. a long time for mm-hmm. years and then, everything was in the subtext like dearest cousin I hope you die exactly. I hope you're well yes. <laughs> I hope your husband isn't a gay drunkard <laughs> I heard smallpox was spreading in Scotland I hope you die <laughs> Still no kids? <laughs> oh, <laughs> couldn't find a husband again this year for Christmas. <laughs> Take hot, dear. No, um, Mary Queen of Scots did send a locket, but it was a ring locket. And it did have her picture in it. She really Cute. did send that. But they never, ever. Oh, I would love to see that. I would love to see that, too. I wonder if it still exists. I bet it does. Somewhere. It's got to be somewhere. I mean, it's historical yeah. you know, value. Anyway, so the point was. David Rizzio, that one of the main reasons that Mary Queen of Scots had a falling out was because oh Lord Darn- Darnley, mm-hmm. Lord Darnley, his natural girl. Well, first of all, it is a well-known fact in historical documents that he did fuck Rizzio. They were found in bed together, though not on their wedding night, the way it is in this upcoming movie. Oh, yes, there's a lot of queerness in this movie. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Spoiler, but I mean, who cares? That right. doesn't have much to do with anything. Um, but. Yeah, he stabbed Rizzio to death. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, it yes! wasn't him, but it was his knife, and he yes! was part of the plot. And supposedly, I remember this. It was because Rizzio was the father of James. Um, but that I don't believe that. I think it was a lovers' quarrel. I think he was jealous because Rizzio had access to her at all times, and he didn't. And I think it's the same thing as always. Husbands are scared of gay best friends because we know all the secrets. Mm. And we will destroy you. <laughs> you know, not really. Well, maybe. Uh, you'll always Wait support your it. queen. You know what? Exactly. But yeah, he was stabbed 52 times. Yeah. Before. Yes, I do remember that. Horrible. Brutal. And that really dissolved. I mean, Mary was done after that. Also, like... I mean, who knows what's real, but I read in, like, some accounts that, like, maybe he was, like, he was definitely, like, verbally abusive to her and, like, definitely felt like she was a woman and he was a man. And, like, even though she was the queen, like, he was the ruler. Yeah, she expected her uh, to mm-hmm. be subservient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was, like, if we take England, England is my country. Okay. It's my throne. Okay. And uh, your girl Mary wasn't there for it. Mm-mm. So she yeah. found her a new boo. Ooh, secretly, surprisingly. Of- Earl of Bothwell. Bothwell, yes. And uh um, Scottish gentleman. And uh yeah, so they pretty much through the grapevine murdered Lord and Darn. Like, yeah. Like we're not saying like officially that's what happened, but that's what happened. Pretty much everyone agrees. They fucking killed yeah. him. They blewed him up and when he didn't die, they strangled his ass to death. Yeah. And then she was like, Oh no. Oops, we're married now. And then she married the Earl of Bothwell. But then, you know, and that's a question I had for you from Rain, how they took this, because the I watched um a made for TV movie about it. And in that one, they were truly in love. And the guy who played Bothwell, who I'll get to at some point uh-huh. in this podcast, fine as fuck. And I was like, I would fall in love with him too. He's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. But I heard that in some tellings of the story, he kidnapped her and raped her before marrying her. Um, and I don't know what the truth I don't is. Know what the and truth I haven't is read about their relationship specifically in a long time. So there wasn't much to it, really. There's, like, this book that's, like, it's called, like, Mary Queen of Scots something something. And it's, like, 
three thousand pages. It's like a really long mm, book, and like a tome. It's like that's the informational like encyclopedia. So I don't know what she has to say on the subject, and I don't remember what I believe. But in Rain, Bothwell was a character for a long time before she married mm-hmm. uh, Darnley. Um, and yeah, she's like a Scottish lord of, and they were very, very much in love. Okay, they were very. So that's the way love. they played it there yeah. too. That's how they play. Maybe th- that must be what most people think, or at least I'm assuming, because every iteration I've seen of it plays it like that. Yeah. Well, it's kind of romantic to think that like mm-hmm. she had this horrible husband, and she loved someone else, and they were like, "Let's fucking kill him," well, and then they did. <laughs> you know, little known fact: he was Darnley was supposedly recuperating from a sexually transmitted disease when he got blown up. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what you get. I wonder Darnley. which one. Syphilis, maybe? Probably. Because he was so up and down. Yeah. Maybe he's going crazy. Um. Yeah, so then that happened, and whatever, some, I don't know, Dar- like, uh, Bothwell dies at, like, some point, and, mm. like, she's sad about that. I don't really know what happens with that. Does them. he rape her in the show? No. Cause there, I, I heard there was a rape in Rain. That people were very upset about. She gets raped by, like, like when she's still in France. Like, when she's still married oh. to Francis. Oh, so something completely it, made and, up for the And show, it, like, probably. ruined... Hopefully. In the show, it, like, ruined her relationship with Francis because she was, like, couldn't, like, love or trust again mm-hmm. because of, like, that situation. So they used that as almost like a... a, a a foundation of her character in a way like why she was so like fiery and like strong yeah yeah they do they do um that's interesting and then she sort of like she and francis like make up later actually they have an open marriage after that because like Mm. she's like i need space and he's like i need people to love me and Mm. so she's like you do your thing and she does her thing too and whatever and they come back together and then francis dies a really sweet thing that happens in Rain because in Rain, Francis and Mary are like soulmates. Mm. Like they are meant to be together, even though they had like their troubles or whatever. Um, and in real life, it was said that they had like a good relationship because they had like grown up they, together. Yeah, they literally, they're childhood friends. There's no like historical evidence that says like they were madly in love, but like people like to think that they were like in love. Um, and in Rain, the show, they were like super in love. So yeah. after he dies, seasons go by, she lives her life, and then she dies in the final episode. Spoiler, that's her fate. Um, I, I'm sorry, but that shouldn't even be counted yeah, as a yeah, spoiler. Yeah. Did y'all not have world history? It's just what happens. Um, And, right, and, like, after she dies, she, like, goes, and then, like, they don't show you her head getting cut off because it's the CW. Mm. And, like, she goes down to get her head cut off, and then, like, this light comes up, and then, like, she stands up, and, like, Francis is there. And he was, like... He was like, oh, my God, I've been waiting for you. And then, like, they go off together, and she's, like... It's, like, the peace because her life was such turmoil, and she was, like, she was, like, basically for, like, 50, 40 years or however long it had been since he died, she was, like, all I've ever wanted to do is come back to you. She died in 1587 at 44 years of age. Yeah. Aww. That's so sad. Yeah. So sweet. I, but that's what I was trying to get at earlier with her husband, though, is, like, yes, her life was tragic, but it was also fucking fabulous in another way. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's, like... Yeah, I, her life was tragic, but at the same time, the peasants, no one's telling any stories about them. No. Who were all around. You know what no. I mean? It's like, yeah, boo-hoo, Mary Queen of Scots. You, you had a lot, though. I'm just saying. For the time, you had a lot. She had a lot, but I can also imagine, like, at the everyday stress level of, like, you can't even eat food without somebody tasting and sitting sure. for an hour to make sure that you're not like nobody's trying to kill you and like mm-hmm. or you're all your big your gay best friend yeah more importantly yes and like not being accepted in the country that you belong in not being accepted by like this other country that you want to belong mm-hmm. in like she was very much just an out of place queen because having she, essentially no family they so call, corrupt, but mm-hmm. she has no family they called her the French queen like even when she came to Scotland they called her the French queen and they did not love her like she she tried really hard to gain their love and i think in the end they like respected her but i don't think they ever loved her they never accepted but like her. these days they do right they hold her up as a national figure of scotland don't they uh i would hope they not would. really no no i just Aww. went to scotland there weren't a damn mary queen of scots thing nowhere Aww. nowhere poor mary queen of yeah scots. i mean they just like she unified their country but like 
people didn't necessarily want that. You it know was what a I mean? Thankless role, kind of. Yeah, yeah, like the people at the time, and then like a lot of people now, like there are still like Scottish separatists, like Scottish separatists exist oh, yeah. that do not want to belong to the UK. They want a Brexit for Scotland. They want to be their own country, and they can't. They can't yeah. do it. They don't have the power they don't well, have the they don't money. want to go back to the haggish shortage of no. <laughs> 1555 nobody does uh, you know okay God, that was horrible so mary's in scotland oh yeah she's talking with elizabeth uh they're having some mini skirmishes back and forth they're secretly trying to kill each other um each thinks that they deserve the other's country everything is very stressful especially i mean especially for both of them but elizabeth has like a lot going on and she has literally no one Mm -hmm. like mary at least has advisors that like she can trust in and believe in like she has her brother Mm -hmm. she has like a couple people elizabeth has no one where she's got doesn't elizabeth have john d Mm -hmm. isn't john d in elizabeth's court she's got him but she don't really you're talking about the dude that's her like love person um no john d was like the court magician or whatever i just know him she had like friends but she had no like people and positions of power that well like they were like you're just a woman yeah and everyone's trying to manipulate her all the time so she yeah. her virgin Both queen them, like i will never have children I, I don't need a man i am the queen of england i'm married to my country like she had to do that to become the great and fantastic queen that she was she totally was but all of that prevented her from having a relationship with like another strong female that could have been her ally like, there were so many things that prevented them from, like, being strength together, yeah. and it made them, like, weak in so many ways. I think it's insane that they never met face-to-face. Especially yeah, that's crazy. Because, well, that we know of. Now, of course, who knows what happened behind closed doors, but Mary Queen of Scots, she was in England for, wasn't it, like, 15 or 20 years after she had to abdicate the Scottish throne. As a prisoner. Yeah, as a prisoner. Yeah. But still, I'm just saying, she was there. Mm-hmm. Elizabeth, why didn't, why? I feel in in that, in the Elizabeth movies with Kate Blanchett, they kind of touch on it. Because it's like, the way they explain it there, if my memory is correct, is that she she essentially knows she's going to have to kill Mary. So she point. doesn't even want to meet her. She doesn't even want to like, meet her. Because she's like, like I'm... I'm, she's on borrowed time. Like, I have to kill her. Yeah. But that's partially because all of her male advisors were like, girl, you have to kill her. Yeah, but she did drag it out. I don't know. Do you think that's a good thing or a bad So, like, obviously from the context, like, um, Mary eventually abdicates her throne to James yes. in a deal with Queen Elizabeth. Because of her marriage to Bothwell yeah. as much as anything else. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So she was like, holler at your girl. I want this to be over. It's too much strife. I will give up the throne of Scotland in, in favor to my son, who is a mm-hmm. child, mm-hmm. if you will name him your heir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that was like, Mary, like, honestly, like, she sacrificed herself to unite those countries. She did. And she sacrificed, if, if it's true that she loved Bothwell, they were married for like a month mm-hmm. before she had to run to England and he was imprisoned. Mm-hmm. And they never saw each other yeah, again. Yeah, which is really sad. Yeah, it is really sad. She sacrificed a lot. And I then mean, for she 20 really years, she was a prisoner. She yeah. was a prisoner in a very nice way, though. Like in a she, castle, she sure. was like she she moved to a cup before she moved to the Tower of London or whatever. She was in like an estate. Uh-huh. She was not allowed to leave the estate. Uh-huh. So she was a prisoner with like a very large cell. But, but like so, she mean, was there for tw- like 20 years. How many times have we heard? It doesn't matter if the cage is gilded. Yeah. If it's a cage, it's a cage. You know, and and she was. By many, the rightful queen of England, mm-hmm. and she was having to live in a cage. Never you know? saw her son again either. That's so sad. And he didn't come to her um, beheading, and he didn't answer her letters leading up. And I don't know. I I guess I don't recall like what the historical reasoning is behind that. But Mary wrote to King James. Yeah. She wrote to him on many that occasions, so and he didn't show up for her thing. That's so sad. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe he didn't come see her beheading, at least. I mean, or like, well, in, okay, so the movie I watched, the made-for-TV movie, is called Gunpowder, Treason, and Plot. I'm going to go ahead and say it's Do you recommend it? I do. I liked it. And, you know, I'm not really one for an historical drama too much. I I, I like, but I don't love. And this one, okay, (laughs) I'm going to blow your mind. Morgan. Tell me. The woman 
who plays Mary Queen of Scots in Gunpowder Treason and Plot, which is it's about three hours. First hour and a half is about Mary. Second hour and a half is about James, her son. Um, the woman who plays Mary was also in the Harry Potter movies. <gasps> Floor de la Cour. Really? Wait, when was this movie from? It's from 2004. Oh, shit. And her name, it's a French name, so forgive me, but it's Clémence Posé? Posé? Something? Yeah, Floor plays Mary Queen of Scots, and she's good. That's she's awesome. Really good that and then furthermore, um, Bothwell, that guy's name is, I think, Kevin McKidd. Okay. He's on Grey's Anatomy. I knew his face, but I didn't know him. But damn, he looks his fine. Boing. As Bothwell. Wait, you say he plays Bothwell? He okay. plays Bothwell. And then what does that cover? That last part of her life? Yes, yeah. it doesn't. And that was shocked to learn that Rain. There's four seasons, three of which take place in France. I was like, really? They were. Yeah, Why? the first like, two no seasons. No one cares about that part of Mary's life. Maybe we should, but like, it's not the part people talk well, about. Well, they also aged her up. So, like, uh, in real life, they got married when they were like 13 or something. Uh-huh. But, like, 15, I think. Yeah. I think in the show, they were like 16, 18, but, you know, they're fully 30 year old people. Sure. Of course. Um, so, like, they, and because they bought into the Francis and Mary or Soulmates thing, like, the whole first two uh, seasons was like their relationship. It's like their love. Yeah, and then Frances dies, and then she's in France for a while after that, in real life, too. Um, tr- she's And she's courting suitors, like, in the French court, like, trying to create new alliances. And then France gets into turmoil, and they're like, sorry, girl, go to Scotland, bye. Right, you better run while you yeah. can. Um, and then they only do one season in Scotland. So, like, all of this shit, essentially, the bulk of her life happens in one season. They, s- one they season. skip years, so, like... See, that's... She, like, gets Weird married, and then, like, they jump ahead, and she's like, and here's her baby. And she's like, my life is horrible. Everything is terrible. Uh-huh. And then they skip ahead. And then at the very end, like, the last episode, they skip, like, the 20 years of her imprisonment. See? And, well, and I guess that's fair because how much really happens there. But I just think that's weird. I, did they get canceled? They got canceled, yeah. Okay, so yeah. they were like, we're going to push it through. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then perhaps most importantly... Forgive me, me if I just interrupted you. Not at all. Okay. Michael Fassbender mm-hmm. as Guy Fox. <gasps> Ooh, Why is he so hot, though? He's I heard gorgeous. you see his dick in, like, something. Yes, you get a full, front, uh, full frontal in um, something. I don't know. I just looked up the screenshots. It's nice. That's what it's I hear. It's a good looking dick. Yeah. Well, you say it, like, ain't no thing, but I heard it was, like, really big. Well, now look. I mean, I'm a gay man who watches a lot of porn and has been blessed to have hookups with boys with big dicks. So I'm, I'm not that blown You're not away. impressed. Well, I just have high standards for dick size. Okay. You know. But cool. yeah, it's nice looking. It's nice looking. It's a good I dick. I have to Google that. Mm-hmm. You sure enough will. We all should. <laughs> my plug um, is Michael Fassbender's <laughs> dick. Yes. I, but that is my plug. Um, Gunpowder, Treason and Plot, 2004, made for TV I like movie really on Netflix. Wanna... Oh! Available on Netflix. It's good. I really recommend it. I want to see this. Mm -hmm. This is my jam. Basically, any, like, drama, royalty, period piece thing is my jam. Mm -hmm. Um, And there are two in theaters right now. Got Mary, Queen of Scots, and then there's this one that's trending called The Favorite. It's, like, really, it's got, like, 94% of Rotten Tomatoes, and it's, like, the Draft House pick right now. Mm -hmm. Like, if you guys know that I'm a Draft House, they always have, like, a recommended pick. It's this, The Favorite, starring Emma Stone, Rachel Weisz, and, like, some other great people. I don't know. I love Emma Stone. I I love love Rachel Weisz. She's great. Why do I know her? I know her name. She, so this director is also... Darren Aronofsky, maybe? Aronofsky. Okay. I don't... Wait, no, that's not the right person. He did... No, it's a different person. Whoever did The Lobster and the Killing of a Sacred Deer has mm. also done this film, which is okay. very different from the other films. Um, anywho, uh, Rachel Weisz is in a ton of stuff. She was in The Lobster. She was, like, the main girl in The Lobster. Uh-huh. Uh, you remember that really shitty Oz movie that we watched? Yes. She was one of the queens. One of the queens yeah. in there. Or Rachel what Weiss. are they? The witches. She was one of the witches. Maybe hmm. Glenda? Maybe but the, the lobster, bad? not the walrus. No, not Have to be confused. Movie, no, walrus? Kevin Smith's the walrus. Yeah, I haven't seen that. It's upsetting. Wait, Tusk. Tusk. That's what that it's is what it's called. How did you you pulled that out of nowhere? You're impressive. I knew what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. That's where beautiful what's his face Justin becomes. Justin Long. Justin Long becomes a, a walrus. walrus. <laughs> 
But like in a horrifying way, right? Yeah, yeah. it's essentially like the aging process sped up, to be honest, but it's, it's I don't horrifying like it. to watch. I didn't see it. Well, do you have a plug for this week? Um, I totally had a mental plug I was going to make, and I don't remember what I was. So I'll just go ahead and plug Rain, you sure because is. you can get all of those seasons on Netflix. It's a mm-hmm. CW show. At least the first two seasons are, like, fucking good. Mm. You could just plug me, Morgan, if you're unsure. You could just plug your beautiful friend, Mick Parker. I, you know, I already plugged a different thing. People are so. trying to stab me 32 times for no reason. Girl, you shouldn't quit being a hunchback bass <laughs> Oh, we <laughs> <laughs> Very awesome. Anyway. Um, okay, so Morgan, if people want to find us, should they look like in Scotland or like are we more Girl, on the English side? France, I wish, maybe? I, I mean, wish. where are we going to be? I mean, if we're picking one of those, I'm in Scotland for sure. Okay, I think I would be in France. But, but I've never been there, but maybe. We're also online, though. No. That's just an easy place to find us. You can get us on all the social medias Nuh-uh. at Beauty and the Bitch or BNBcast. Okay. You can find us on our website, bnbcast.wordpress.com. That exists. You can subscribe to our our podcast best thing you could do honestly well i i disagree because i think the best thing they could do is rate us five stars oh that's a that's a given yeah. that is a yes. given and right in there mick is so good looking and i morgan. don't even care and morgan in parentheses as long as they give us five stars i don't give a shit what it says yeah, that's the truth. so yeah uh rate and review us subscribe to us tell your friends about us and just mm-hmm. Basically, share the love and the hate, because that's all we've got to give. Yep, love and hate, equal mm. measure. I give the love, Morgan gives the hate. Sometimes. All the time. Sometimes. Right now, I'm giving the hate. Well, we love you, babies. That's true. I, I don't hate y'all. Well, except for you. You know who I'm talking he, to. They know. They, they know, know the one. Yeah. Okay. Bye, babies. Bye, babies. Now, Morgan, I before we... You did burp. It was disgusting. It came out of nowhere. I just want you to lay your head down on this block, okay? Okay. okay. Just rest here, okay? Just for a moment. And I'm just going to, yeah, just close your eyes. Oh, okay. And I'm, I'm just so going to block. Beauty and the Bitch. Beauty and the Bitch. Beauty and the Bitch. Beauty and the Bitch. You have a home. Beauty and the Bitch. You don't. Beauty and the Bitch. Beauty and the Bitch. Beauty and the Bitch. Beauty and the Bitch.